Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second edition of Today in the World of Wrestling. Tonight we're going to be talking about Lucha Underground Season 2, Episode 22. This man, this was a crazy episode of Lucha Underground. A lot happened. Before tonight, we had no clue that there was even going to be a third Gift of the Gods match, although I did predict it last fall. Tonight, not only do we know that we're getting one, but we know all seven people that are going to be in it productive as fuck yeah that's basically lucha underground's motto at this point to start the night we had a scene in dario cueto's office where he was speaking to a new luchador that we've never seen before i've heard rumors of who it might be under the mask i'm not gonna spoil it for anyone here but his name in lucha underground is nightclaw and he looks like a badass yeah badass to the max the last of his tribe apparently too yeah, well, the, apparently the Jaguar tribe, which is where Nightclaw is from, they got very overconfident. They had an, an issue with hubris, and they were actually one of the first. Actually, no, not one of. They were the first ancient tribe to be destroyed. Yeah, man, sad times, sad times. But Dario Cueto, to make it up to Nightclaw as a signing bonus, rather than making him fight for a, an opportunity to be in the Gift of the Gods seven-way match, he literally just hands him, well, I guess technically tosses, but gives him an, an Aztec medallion. So now that's one out of seven. Yeah, first guy to really be just formally given a medallion. We know Cueto's tried to do that in the past. Nyquil, the first to accept. Very interesting. Well, Big Rick accepted in season one. Oh, that is true. That is true. Good point. Good point. Okay, but up next, we had our first match of the night. It was Daga versus Mascarita Sagrada. Cobra Moon was watching from Dario Cueto's roof, but we're not really sure what's going on there. Cobra Moon is still creeping on Daga, but it doesn't matter because Daga won the match. This is Daga's first earned victory in Lucha Underground because he's lost every match except for the one Fatal 4-Way that he won thanks to Cobra Moon. Yep, da uh, Daga wins but cringes, and I love it all the same. This is a very interesting story going on here. That said, though, post-match, we got an amazing segment where Famous B looked like he was kind of celebrating Mascarita, like, oh, you tried, buddy, but then he super kicks him in the face and tells him that he's going to get himself a real client, and he's going to make that person famous. And he beats so him up with his shoe. Mascarita got super kicked to the curb, baby. Oh! <laughs> So then we had another uh, Dario Cueto office scene where he's talking to El Dragon Azteca Jr. And he reveals to El Dragon Azteca Jr. that it was actually Black Lotus that killed the original Dragon Azteca. Dario Cueto stirring it up. Oh, he's playing both sides and it is glorious. We've got some House of Cards level manipulation going on on here and it's amazing. Please, Frank Underwood wishes he was Dario Cueto. <sighs> You're probably right. But... Dude, how amazing would that character be if he was played by the guy that plays Dario Cueto? Oh, my God. I mean, I love Kevin Spacey, but come on now. Anyway, up next, we had a trios match. Not a championship match, but a trios match because, oh, and I forgot to mention, Daga, by beating Mascarita Sagrado, was given the second Aztec medallion. So that's two out of seven. But now we get a trios match where the winning team all get Aztec medallions. So that puts us up to five. This match was Cortez Castro, Mr. Cisco, and Joey Ryan versus the weird mishmash team of Killshot, Siniestro de la Muerte, and Marty the Moth Martinez. And before the match started, Marty said, Killshot, as a peace offering, I'll give you your dog tags. And he did. And then he used Killshot as a, a really good cooperative tag team partner, and they actually won the match. And then after the match, Marty took the dog tags back, shoved the referee in a kill shot, and made his escape. Yep, the contentious cop uh, combo there, getting it done, and Cisco an unwilling participant, but they're all going to give to the gods three. Yep, and if, well, you said cop unintentionally, but I think it was a little bit of a Freudian slip because the cops, that being Cortez Castro and Joey Ryan, officers Reyes and Meehan, didn't win. They got beat. Uh, that being said... Oh, that's right. Yeah, my apologies. No, it's fine. Up next, though, we had a crazy tag team match that was all women. It was Sexy Star and her longtime rival, Mariposa, taking on the team of Ivelisse and her very recent rival, Taya. And I guess Ivelisse and Taya just hated each other a little bit more than Sexy Star and Mariposa because Sexy Star and Mariposa won, earning the final two Aztec medallions. Yes, Taya and Ivelisse, the contentious combination combusted right before our eyes. So Sexy Star and Mariposa are going to give to the gods three. Very interesting. Can I just say that alliteration, though? I know. Next level, wasn't it? I am my, impressed. So my, to sum things up, guys, 
our gift of the gods, the third match that we're getting, the seven way, unless something changes with somebody else putting a medallion into the belt, because we know that that can change things because of Chavo. But right now it's looking like Nightclaw, Daga, Killshot, Marty, Siniestro de Muerte, Mariposa, and Sexy Star. Yeah, Gift of the Gods 3 is stacked. That said, though, that's not the only Ultima Lucha Dos match that got made tonight, because at the very end of the night, when everything else was said and done, Prince Puma came out. And even though we've heard him speak before, it was always behind the scenes. It was on the rooftop. It was in the locker room. It was in the training room. This time, this is the first time he's ever spoken in front of the Believers. Yes, huge event here in the temple. And he was very clear that when he was being trained by Conan, Conan kept on telling him that if you keep getting better, you're going to be the next Rey Mysterio. And he said that he wanted to know if he is or if he's better than Rey Mysterio. And he challenged Rey to an Ultima Lucha Dos match. And he just wants to know. He needs to know if he's better. Yeah, dream match for sure. Ultima Lucha Dos is looking legit as hell. And Rey comes out. He says, hey, man. I think I'm still better than you, but I need to prove that I'm still the best. He even says, you might be the prince, but I'm El Rey, which is Spanish for the king. Right, right. So Rey Mysterio accepts, and we have another Ultima Lucha Dos match set up. And ladies and gentlemen, that's Lucha Underground episode 22 of season two. John, any last words? Freaking amazing. We will see you guys for our full version of TwitWow in probably an hour or so.